Mississippi has come with their contingent along with the Cowboys of Oklahoma State University. It's college football in a state where college football is king. The Houston Bowl coming at you right after this. For players like Oklahoma State wide receiver Rashawn Woods who leads the nation in touchdown receptions and Southern Miss middle linebacker Rod Davis. Both are juniors, but both may be playing in their final college game. USA opponents. Southern Miss, the Golden Eagles at 7-5 against Oklahoma State, the Cowboys, also at 7-5. Hi, everybody. Mark Malone. Glad you could join us along with my broadcast partner here, Sean Salisbury, and we have an interesting matchup for you. Southern Miss and Oklahoma State have faced each other in each of the last three years. This is their first bowl matchup, but Southern Miss comes in without their bell cow. The big running back, Derek Nix, who's been suffering from a very serious kidney injury. It's going to put a lot of pressure on the young quarterback, Mickey D'Angelo. Yeah, let's hope Derek is okay, Absolutely. Mark, as he goes on. But it is going to put pressure. D'Angelo and the running back, James Wally, who will fill in. He started one game this year, rushed for over 100 yards. The key is going to be able to control the football for Southern Myth to keep that explosive offense off the field. But if they can't, Rod Davis, the middle linebacker, who's as active as there is. And for a middle linebacker, 10 and a half sacks on Southern Myth, he's an unbelievable football player. Leads the nation with 160 16 solo tackles with more on Nick's situation to introduce you to the third member of our broadcast team Tracy Wilson Tracy thanks guys well a sad story Derek Nix last week he found out that a kidney disorder he's been suffering from the last two seasons has gotten progressively worse it's an often fatal non-curable disease that has affected both of his kidneys and as a result his football career is over that leaves him just 12 yards shy of the school's all-time Tracy, thank you very much. We'll hopefully talk to Derek Nix uh, a little bit later in the show. Meanwhile, Oklahoma State comes in with what Derek Nix's brother, the defensive coordinator for Southern Myth, Tyrone Nix, says is the hottest offense in college football. It all starts with Rashawn Woods, the wide receiver. It sure does, Mark. And Southern Miss will try to give a lot of looks, but eventually Rashawn Woods is going to get man-to-man -man coverage. He's as explosive, probably the best player nobody ever talks about, a wide receiver in the country. Big play guy, Mark, as you see, and nobody comes up bigger with those touchdowns leads the nation with 16 of them tell you what he is a big play wide receiver again 16 touchdowns receiving and they will find a way to get him the football in this football game there's no doubt about it. at least 10 times that's exactly and if they don't mark they can run the football pretty well too so you got to pick your poison and we know that the quarterback has a lot of responsibility at the line of scrimmage does josh fields and uh he'll get him in the right play and that fella right there is going to get a lot of footballs the man that has the pleasure of coaching, Mr. Woods, Les Miles, in his second season at Oklahoma State, 11-12 and 12 record, but I'll tell you what, they finished winning five of their final six football games to make it here today. And uh, a former Michigan guy has uh, got this football program headed in the right direction. Jeff Bauer, the head coach for Southern Miss, in his 25th year in some capacity with this football program a two-time conference usa coach of the year and again has his hands full with this very big time offense his quarterback today as we mentioned mickey d'angelo had a problem with the rib early on in the week couldn't practice and really hasn't taken very many reps leading up to this Houston Bowl game. Show. Yeah, Mark, it's going to be interesting because his timing and the way he gets the ball to his guys will be so important because the last thing you want to do for this Oklahoma State offense is leave them on the field and allow Woods and Fields to get, get rolling because we saw Fields has uh, thrown 18 touchdowns and one pick in the last six weeks. Southern Miss won the toss and deferred. Kicks it off. TD Bryant to the 33-yard line. It's 
take a look at Oklahoma State's lineup, sponsored by Coors Light at quarterback for the Cowboys, Josh Fields. A true sophomore, he already holds the school records for single season passing. His main target, as we told you at the top of the show, is Rashawn Woods. Lewis is the other wideout. Junior Tatum Bell starts at running back and is averaging nearly six yards a carry. Denard is the fullback, and Pajama is the tight end. Seymour Shaw, the lone setback, stopped at the line of scrimmage. One yard. Up front for Oklahoma State, first year starters at center and both guards, along with two senior tackles, Eaton and Russell. Together, they gave up just 17 sacks this year. That's a big 12 best. The defensive front for Southern Miss, Jones and Jones on the left side, along with Scott. Terrell Paul playing the bandit position. You see him lined up all over the field. Defensive end standing up at linebacker. Second and nine. Fields and Woods not on the same page. Almost interception. And that'll bring up third and long. Here's the rest of the Golden Eagle defense. The lineups presented by Coors Lights. Three all-conference USA linebackers led by all-world Rod Davis, who collected 157 tackles, including 10 and a half sacks. In the secondary, it's Brooks and Johnson at the corner. Ray, the strong safety. Etrick Pruitt leads the team with six interceptions at the free safety position. Three wideouts for Les Miles and the Cowboys. Plenty of time for Fields. Fires a ball to Woods, who's close to a first down. How easy does Rashawn Woods make it look, Mark? Using the football, catching the football with his hands. That's one of the great attributes that he has, getting his hands on it, not trying to body it. He doesn't drop a lot of balls. Nice pitch and catch. We'll have a measurement here. You see there in the left part of your screen, just a nice simple curl route, sits in the hole, nice hand-eye coordination, give himself a chance for the first down, and they got it, Mark. Third down and long. Tough to get those on a regular basis. They did against a good defense. So Southern Miss's defense does what it wants in terms of creating third and long and then give up the first down. So Oklahoma State now will have first and ten from the 43-yard line. If you're if you're Southern Miss, Mark, and you can get them in a third and eight, third and nine on a regular basis, you'll uh, you'll have a lot of success in this football game. <laughs> Three wide receivers set again. Shaw, the lone setback. Blitz, Shaw. Hit at the line of scrimmage, no gain. Rod Davis, the all-world linebacker, on the stop. That's a shocker, huh? To the tune of 116 solos. It leads the nation in solo tackles this year. Inside back, extremely active, Mark. Have a look at him getting in there. Going to run right through. Make a tackle, scrapes along the line. You don't get a body on him. He's going to make about 20 of those today. And he'll be tested. But you know what? You better get somebody at his legs or it's going to be a long day for Oklahoma State running the ball. Second and 10. The Cowboys spread him out with four wide receivers. Quick pass. The bubble screen to Woods. He crawls his way out to the 47-yard line. Gain of four. Roy Johnson trips him up. We mentioned Josh Fields, just a sophomore, Sean, but a guy that really is dependent upon to make a lot of calls at the line of scrimmage. Take a look at those numbers, Mark, 29 and 9. You'll take that ratio anytime. That'll put you near the top. When you can do that, you're not turning the ball over, and you're still taking shots down the field. That is unbelievable numbers by this sophomore quarterback. Again, third and long. Trips to the left side. Fields. Wide open to Lewis. He's hauled down at the 43-yard line. Joe Henley makes the stop after an 11-yard game. That's too simple there, Mark. We just got a little out cut. Going to run out here, sit down. Does a nice job off the blitz. Little adjustment. Fields finds him. Sitting down. Way too easy. Nice adjustment. Good read by the quarterback. And a nice job by Lewis to sit down out there and recognize man coming off the slot. 
Changed now at halfback. Shaw goes to the sideline. Tatum Bell in along with Denard, the fullback. Bell in motion. Looking deep to Woods. Caught around the 15-yard line. And OSU was on the move. Etrick Pruitt had the coverage. Mark, at the top, we talk about big plays and how Woods has done it all year. Again, he's going to come right at you. Going to give you a little outside move and sit in the hole. Turns the safety around. Pruitt, who's one of the better ones at free safety in the league. First down, when you got that much cushion and that much space and you've scored 16 touchdowns this year, there'll be a lot of those happening today. Nice throw by Fields. First and 10. Throwback screen. Charlie Johnson down to the five-yard line. Nine yards on the play. We've seen varied formations, a lot of different plays, almost a different look on every snap. Yeah, and Oklahoma State's not going to allow Southern Miss to dictate the tempo because they give a lot of looks and a lot of shifts and stems on defense. So what Gundy, their offensive coordinator, Mike Gundy's done is come out and say, we're going to beat you at your own game. Spread you out, come in, play tight, run screens. We're going to push the ball down the field. And when you've got a quarterback that this hot, Mark, you think you're going to see a lot of this all day. And this guy right here, Josh Fields, there's a lot of pressure on him, but he keeps his team in the right play. Big personnel. Shaw and Denard in the backfield. Shaw on the counter. Inside for a tough couple of yards before Rod Davis hauls him down. You think you'll be saying his name a few times today, Mark? <laughs> 157 total tackles, 116 of those solo tackles, which leads the nation. And as you mentioned in the open, 10 and a half sacks. And it, unbelievable. You, normally that's reserved for a defensive end that stands up and rushes or a, an outside linebacker that comes and gets a blitzes all the time. This is a guy who leads your team a tackle so he's not blitzing every down and still gets 10 and a half sacks. What a great opening drive by the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Play action to the flat. The fullback, Denard, touchdown, Cowboys. Just like that, they march down the field. A three-yard touchdown pass to the fullback. Doesn't catch a lot of them in this offense, but he gets the Cowboys on the board first. That's what I like about Fields, too, Mark, allowing everybody to get involved on this first drive. Spread it around really nice. Luke Phillips makes it 7-0. Oklahoma State. And we're off and running here at the Houston Bowl. Les Miles. I have his offense move down the field with long passes to Rashawn Woods, the All-American, and then a little three-yard flat pass to the unlikely candidate, the fullback, Denard. We're back after this. Perry Apollody, the president and CEO of the Houston Bowl. We're very happy to be hosting the third annual Houston Bowl game in an excellent facility here at Reliant Park. We're also very excited to be a part of this city that has many premier events, the Super Bowl, and the baseball all-star game. Two great conferences will be vying against one another. The Big 12 Conference USA should bring an exciting matchup. We hope all of you have had a great Christmas and we wish you a blessed new year. Welcome back to Reliance Stadium, the Houston Bowl. Josh Fields engineers an Oklahoma State opening drive of 10 plays, 67 yards, and the Cowboys are on the board early here against Southern Miss. Fields five of six on that drive. And Cole Farden, number 18, will send it off. Eubanks, deep in the end zone, will take a knee. And the Golden Eagles will take over on the 20-yard line. At quarterback for Southern Miss, Mickey D'Angelo. He's playing with a rib injury that kept him out of most of practice leading up to today's game. He'll be handing off to James Wally who is making just his second started running back for the injured Derek Nix. Johnson, Handy, and Young have combined for over 1,700 yards receiving. Garner is the tight end. And they come out with an open set, three wide receivers. 
Johnson in motion. Takes the handoff. Sweep right. Up past the 25 to about the 28-yard line. Eight yards on the play. Up front for Southern Miss, it's Bridges, Parquet, Hicks, Jimenez, and Torrin Tucker, the all-conference guard who's already been invited to play the prestigious Senior Bowl. They'll face a Cowboy front. Features one of the best defensive tackles in the country, senior Kevin Williams, six foot five, 290 pounds, and he is disrupted. D'Angelo to Wally, bangs it up for about four yards in what looks to be a first down. At linebacker for the Cowboys, Terrence Robinson and Paul Duran. A redshirt freshman, they lead the team, or he leads the team in tackles. Five defensive backs for Southern Miss: Williams, Milligan, Craig, Massey, and the true freshman Vernon Grant. If they've had problems on defense, it's been at the corner. But Williams is playing his best football of the season. First and ten. D'Angelo overshoots his intended wide receiver Williams with the interception down at the twenty. Excuse me, the 31 yard line. Just a simple case of check out the mechanics here, Mark. Ball comes off high. Looks like he held it a little bit too long. Sitting in a pocket, throws, tries to throw over the defensive lineman. Just a bad, just bad throw, got away from him. Those things are going to happen. The key for now, Mickey D'Angelo, is how you respond when you come back. You put your team in a bit of a bind now. They're at the 31-yard line, an explosive team, and there's Darren Williams, sophomore cornerback on the pick. You do not want to give a team like this the short field, but now D'Angelo's got to respond when they get the ball back, Mark. Williams' third interception of the season. Seymour Shaw now at tailback. Fields, play action. Bootleg. And throws this one out of bounds. A wise decision from the sophomore. And Mark, if you're sitting at home or people in the stand saying, oh, why are you going to throw it out of bounds? That is a great decision. That's why 29 touchdowns and nine interceptions this year is because he understands when to throw it away, when to hit the fullback in the flat like he did last time for the touchdown. Great decision by him. Tee it up again. We're in field goal range right now. Let's go second and 10. A true sophomore, he ranks 36 in all of college football with an efficiency rating of over 141. And he's only a sophomore. It's heady stuff for a young guy. You bet. Second and 10. Shaw up the middle for the 25. Rod Davis on the stop after a six-yard pickup. Well, there's Mike Gundy, the offensive coordinator, who, by the way, holds all the career records for OSU. Uh, we mentioned Josh Fields. Uh, he holds the single-season records, and he's after that man's uh, name in the record book right there. He had a pretty good running back to hand, too, too, and yes. Barry Sanders when he was here. But Mike Gundy, interesting thing, Mark, love those quarterbacks that are coordinators now because when in doubt, let's throw this Absolutely. thing down the field. <laughs> and I love well, Mike's an attack guy. It's his second season as the old coordinator, as you saw him. Uh, like what he's doing with this offense. Well, timeout's been called now by Oklahoma State. They're going to talk about it on a third and four situation, leading by a touchdown early on over Southern Miss. After a quick Cowboys score on the opening drive, their defense comes up with an interception, and now Oklahoma State University faces a third and four from the 25-yard line. Shaw inside picks up maybe three he'll be short of the first down Davis and Pruitt on the stop Shaw's getting a little more love than uh, we thought Tatum Bell get a little more early in the game Mark Tatum Bell uh, almost a thousand pizza. yards yeah. yeah we're a little surprised to see so much of Shaw in this game but two good backs and Les Miles has decided he's going to kick the field goal Luke Phillips comes on for that duty. It's a 40-yard attempt. He is 63 percent this year. Three of six from this distance. We have a flag. Delay of game. Now if Les elects to do this, it's going to be a little bit longer. 
if you yeah, you know, Mark, these are some of the things that can be unacceptable. You know, special teams, you got to be ready to get on the field, be ready to go. You can't lollygag around five yards further. Is it makeable? You bet it is. But still, it's five yards more distance. You've got to do everything you can to be, you know, have your tie tied up and your shoes ready to go and get yourself out there on the field ready to play. And that's inexcusable for the special teams for Oklahoma State. 45 yards. Again, three of six from this distance. It's long enough. And it's good. Penalize him every time. Huh, Mark? Despite the mistake. <laughs> Les Miles and his Oklahoma State Cow uh, Cowboys can't do any wrong here. They jump out to an early 10-0 lead on a 45-yard field goal. Back to the Houston ship of the 2002 Houston Bowl. Brought to you by I.W. Marks, Houston's largest and finest independent jeweler. And by Rocky Mountain Cold, Coors Light. Cold. Down. Easy. Welcome back to Reliance Stadium, where it's been all Oklahoma State early on. 7.50 remaining in the first quarter. LSU has added a field goal of 45 yards. Luke Phillips to make it 10-0. Farden, the kicker for the Cowboys, sends it deep. Eubanks at the goal line. Fakes the reverse and is hammered at the 10-yard line. Capital One Bowl League continues on ESPN with two more games. Up next, Eli Manning makes his final appearance for Ole Miss. It's Nebraska and the Rebels clash in the mainstay, Independence Bowl. Then at 8 Eastern, L. Roberson leads the number six ranked Kansas State Wildcats against the Arizona State Sun Devils in the 25th annual Pacific Life Holiday Bowl from Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego, California. For more on the season's entire college football bowl action, you can log on to ESPN.com. And Mickey D'Angelo is now out. He has been replaced by Dustin Allman, number nine. Immediately gets pressure. He's a runner. Puts his head down. He gets out near the 20-yard line before Derrick Williams drags him down. A gain of seven. We mentioned at the top, D'Angelo injured his ribs earlier in the week at practice. They weren't sure he'd be able to go. He gets one series, and now we're going to see Allman. Yeah, he might maybe judge it from the way he threw the football, Mark. Uh, you know, Coach Bauer on the sidelines, you know, speculating that maybe he's not throwing it with the authority because he did practice. We talked about timing. you got to give yourself the best chance to win, and Allman may be it today. Allman only completing just over 46% of his passes this season. Johnson goes in motion. Wally. For the first down, out to the 24-yard line, gain of five yards on the play. Wally got that one start this year in place in Knicks uh, because of the injury and rushed for over 100 yards. I think now, Mark, you go from a sophomore quarterback who's out now, um, then you get to your court, your back, your backup quarterback who's a freshman, redshirt freshman, and Dustin Allman. Wally's going to have to carry the football a lot. There you see, 27 rushes for 100 yards, only 27 to carry, but still got the 100 yard mark, and they need to control the football like that today to keep OSU off the field. First and ten from the 24, punch formation. Works the single receiver side, and Allman overthrows him, and we have a flag on the play. Vernon Grant, the true freshman corner, looks to be the guilty party. And that's a good call, Mark. He's down there grabbing and clutching and way down the field, right by the first down strike. Here's a call. You're like a motion on the offense, pass interference on the defense. The penalties on set. We'll replay first down. Yeah, we only saw the one flag, and that was a pass interference, so offset penalties. But it was a good call out there at the wideout position. Jeff Bauer and his Southern Miss Golden Eagles can't catch a break early on here. And Mark, if you're Oklahoma State, you got a redshirt freshman in the game who hasn't played much, and you're up by 10, what do you think you do? You pressure him and pressure him and come after him. And I fully expect Oklahoma State to give him a lot of different looks to see if you can confuse the young freshman quarterback. Broden, the tight end in motion. Wally inside. Pushes the pile and finally drug down at about the 33 yard line by Kirk Milligan. A strong safety. Five yards on the play. And Mark, if you're Oklahoma State's defense, recognizing how hot your offense is with this freshman quarterback in now for Southern Miss, you say, well, you know what? We could take a few chances and get after him because even if they do score and hit a big play, 
Our offense is capable of answering right back at a couple plays themselves. With D'Angelo in there during the season, they've spread the passing game around. Three wide receivers over 500 yards in receiving. They really don't have a go-to guy, but they do have some speed out there. Three wides on second and six. Almond down at the 20. And a flag for a possible late hit. Kevin Williams, the first to get there for Oklahoma State. Gave a little look, a little pressure. Yeah, dead ball. Personal foul on the defense. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. Take them any way you can get them. Almond dropping back. It's going to hold the ball a little long, but great pressure up front. And here's what he's talking about the late spear. That's a very good call. There's no harm done as far as injury wise, but anytime you hit somebody late and spear him when he's down, it's a good call and another penalty on Oklahoma State. The infraction on Greg Richmond, number 45. So a minus 11 turns into a first down for the Golden Eagles. It's okay to take a few chances on defense, Mark, but not get careless like that. Shotgun formation, four wide receivers. Quick pass, stares it down, but drives it in to Leroy Handy. A gain of about four yards. Well, early indications, Dustin Alma's going to take, he's going to drop back and sling that thing, Mark. What's he got to lose? He's in here as a freshman, got some snaps during the week, and uh, looks like he's coming at it with pretty aggressive uh, attitude. I like that. Early on, I think the thing we have to watch is he seems very deliberate. He seems like he wants to stare down his receiver from the time he takes the ball, and that could prove to be deadly. Alma, again, the quick pass outside, this time to Chris Johnson. He gets up near the 45-yard line. Williams drags him down. And I don't think offensive coordinators do this enough, Mark. The play before we saw the hitch to the left. If they're going to play off, come out here, run a little six-yard hitch, stop route, get it out to him quickly. It's an easy throw for the quarterback, a very defined decision he can make. Throw it out there, give yourself five or six yards. It's a nice extension of the run. The offensive coordinator, get to it as often as you can. Jumbo people, Wally doesn't have the ball. It's a play fake. Goodness, Allman overthrows his intended receiver, the tight end, Bobby Gardner, but there is a flag on the play. What a great <laughs> ball fake. Got a personal foul. Roughing the passer on the defense. 15 yards. Automatic first down. Well, that's two roughings now, so Allman is, I'll tell you what, taking a beating, but what a ball fix. Press to digitation. That's called sleight of hand. Look at this. Ho oh, hum. Yep, I think I'll make a play. Has a guy by eight yards. Another late hit. Careless by Oklahoma State. And you got those big plays out there if you're Southern Miss. Allman can't miss those, but was a great fake. But Oklahoma State looks like they're on the uh, overly aggressive side right now, Mark, getting after this young quarterback. Antonio Smith, the guilty party. First and ten from the 40. Three wides. And the handoff to Johnson. He's driven out of bounds at about the 33-yard line after an eight-yard pickup. Williams on the stop. If you like offense and spreading it out and doing a bunch of different things, you're going to like this one today because Southern Miss and Oklahoma State are both going to show you things that you may not have seen this football season and go after it, challenge and attack. It's going to be a fun game to watch. Jeff Bauer had planned on coming into this game using both quarterbacks, D'Angelo and Allman in different series. He's been forced to go to Allman and so far he's put together a nice little drive. Second and two. Broken play. Flagged down and Allman to the 25. It looks like we might have an offside here by the Cowboys. Broken play hesitation. You're going to see Alma get out of the pocket. Going to get out of bounds. Nice little push. That was not a late hit. He was inbound. On the defense. Penalty is the climb. First down. And that's. <laughs> you don't want to get too close to that wood. That's about to hurt somebody <laughs> there. Llewellyn Brown, number 89. The nose guard. A little anxious to give Southern Miss their 
or another first down out of the 25-yard line. Well, if you needed a wake-up call, Southern uh, Oklahoma State's defense has given it to him. Eight plays, 65 yards. Option. Fakes the pitch all but inside. Miles pushed down near the 20-yard line before Terrence Robinson hauls him down after a four-yard pickup. Allman may need a little bit of a whirlpool when this thing's <laughs> over. Two personal foul calls, a shot out of bounds, an option play where he gets drilled after four yards. But you know, Mark, it's, in situations like this when you're down and a young kid and look like this comes in a football game, you sure learn real quick if the kid's tough or what kind of moxie he's got. And Allman's showing quite a bit on his first drive, not losing his composure like Oklahoma State's defense did. And he brings his second dimension to the offense, which makes it more difficult for the Cowboys to zero in. Part of the tight end in motion. Allman rifles one out, but it's incomplete to Johnson. Williams there to break it up. Now that's a good, that was a nice throw. Now I don't know if Williams got a hand on it, but he threw it away and low. So his guy had a chance to catch it, throwing it on the move. Decisive with his decision making. I like that. Almond's getting after it. This is a good drive going third and six now. If you're uh, if you're Southern Miss, I would expect a little bit of pressure up front down here as you push the red zone with this freshman quarterback. Shotgun formation. Keep an eye right here, see if pressure's going to come. Plenty of time for Alden. Flushed. And throws incomplete. Massey, the safety for the Cowboys, makes the play. Trying to make something happen. Almost threw another interception there, did Southern Miss, but... Get to tee it up for a field goal and see if we get some points here if you're Southern Miss and uh, get you right back in the game. Kurt Jones from 38 yards. And it's good. So after falling behind quickly, 10-0, the Southern Miss Golden Eagles answer back with a field goal of their own, and we've got a one-touchdown ball game from the Houston Bowl in Houston, Texas. Houston Bowl, Oklahoma State up 10-3 on Southern Miss. Welcome back. Well, a report from the sidelines. It looks as though Mickey D'Angelo, the quarterback for Southern Miss, is out for the game. As you mentioned, he pulled cartilage earlier on Saturday during practice, and it seems to be flaring up. Dustin Amon will be their quarterback the rest of the game. Back to you, Mark. All right, Tracy, thank you very much. Again, Allman, not many snaps this year, and his backup, Zach White, Redshirt sophomore hasn't taken a snap in the 2002 season. And the way they're getting after Almond, they uh, don't want to protect him a little bit better here. Madlock sends it deep to Massey. Five yards deep into the end zone. He'll take a knee. Force Oklahoma State now to have to drive 80 yards for another touchdown. Well, Saturday, Capital One Bowl Week continues with games on ESPN and ESPN2 at 11 a.m. Eastern on ESPN2. The Virginia Cavaliers beat the West Virginia Mountaineers in the inaugural Continental Tire Bowl at Erickson Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. Then at 8 Eastern on ESPN, it's the Alamo Bowl, presented by MasterCard. The Colorado Buffalo beat the Wisconsin Badgers at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas. More on the season's entire college football bowl action. Of course, you can log on to ESPN.com. First and 10 from the 20, Tatum Bell. The pitch is hammered at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a yard loss. Rod Davis on the stop. Talking about the Continental Tire Bowl. I'll tell you what, pretty good little matchup there. When you've got West Virginia and Virginia. And... Uh, Cavaliers lost four bowl games, allowing 41 points a game. That can't happen. And West Virginia might be one of the most improved programs in the country. You're so. not kidding, Mark. And Avon Coburn, their running back, the second team All-American, rushed for over 1,500 yards. Didn't get a ton of Heisman love, but he'll be showing people at Virginia what he's all about. Gennard, short motion. Play action. Down the middle. 
to Charlie Johnson. The 45 yard line for Brooks and Pruitt. Ball hit there. 25 yards on the game. Mark, when you want to split the safeties and play too deep, you're going to see Titan get right down the middle of the field, split them. Nice timing, good pitch and catch. That's one of the great plays in football if you get split safeties, get right down the middle. The key for the tight end is to get off the ball. That's exactly what Johnson did. Get to that next level. Good throw by Fields. Mike Gundy, the offensive coordinator, said they use a lot of two tight end. In fact, probably throw more out of two tight end than anybody in the country. Fields, play action again, looking deep. This one for Woods. Woods, a great job to break it up. It was a flag on the play. Great Brooks. Along with Rashawn Woods, kind of in a hand-to-hand -hand battle for that one. You might get a little push in the back from the offensive receiver, Rashawn Woods. On the offense, 15 yards, previous ball, first down. I'm going to get you one of those striped uniforms here, my partner. <laughs> Just good eyes. Now, here you see Mark, a little deep route, not a whole lot of move, a little stutter and go. Watch the right hand and the left hand come in and push. That's a good call by the official. I know the fans don't like it. They see a orange here at the ballpark, but that's a good call. Um, usually the superstars get the call, but that's a nice push off. Doesn't get usually called on the offensive side, but that's Woods did that, and it was good. They're going to bring it back. You and I have played both major college football and professional football for a decade. Most coaches will tell you, force the officials to make the offense. No doubt about it. Their call because rarely will they do it. That's a, a lot of times you'll push and they'll get the defensive call. They come right back out. A quick toss to TD Bryant down the left sideline out to about the 43 yard line for Pruitt and Johnson bring him down. <laughs> What's interesting Mark is this offense averaging 34 plus points a game Oklahoma State. What's amazing is that you push him all the way back <laughs> and I'm not so sure it's out of their range to go back and get the first down on a couple plays. They attack. There's nothing too much for them to overcome. This year averaging just over 34 points. That's 16th in the NCAA. That's fifth all time for the school. 258 passing yards per game first all time for the Oklahoma State University program. Fields looking for who else. Oh, this time John Lewis was wide open on the comeback and drops it right in his hands. Yeah, Mark, when you're going to get Woods on one side and you're going to come to Lewis on the other, you're going to get a lot of single coverage if you're Lewis. Plenty of space. We talked earlier about how Woods catches the ball with his hands. Well, John Lewis tried to body that. It got into him. It gobbled him up, let him get into his shoulder pads and drop the ball on the ground. He's going to get a bunch of single coverage. He has a chance to make a lot of plays today, and they'll come to him. It's a nice decision by the quarterback, but you must catch that football with those fingertips and hands. Brings up a third and 12. Three wide receivers. Cowboys two of four on third down today. Blitz coming. And Fields is hammered. Ronald Jones. The defensive end. Drops him for a nine-yard loss. That's Southern Miss's M.O. Give you a bunch of different looks. And then come get you. It's third and long. Ronald Jones going to get after the quarterback. Push right there at the top of your screen on the left side. Nice job. Good move to get to him. Third and 12. You can expect a lot of that from Southern Miss. Marvin Young, ranked fourth in Conference USA, is driven back to the 20 and is dropped immediately. Dropped immediately. Great special team by OSU. 46 yards on the punt. Nothing on the return as Willie Young was the first to get down there. Well, we'd like to salute the soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines assigned to the U.S. Pacific Command watching this telecast on AFN, the American Forces Network. We'd also like to send a special hello to their daughters. They're part of West Pacific Girl Scouts in bases in Japan, Okinawa, and South Korea. Happy holidays from all of us here at ESPN. And enjoy a good football game, too. Dustin in the quarterback for Southern Miss. First and 10 from the 20. Wally banks it out for a five-yard gain for Duran. The freshman hauls him down. Now, that's a win for a Southern Miss on offense. If you can give it to that fellow, James Wally, and allow him to get five, six yards on first down, now the flow of the game and the tempo of the game on offense allows the young freshman, Allman, to make some other decisions where you're not pushed into a passing situation only. Jeff Bowers' group 
gutty to hang in there. As the first quarter comes to an end. From the Houston Bowl in Houston, Texas, the Oklahoma State Cowboys lead by a touchdown over Southern Miss. Oklahoma State has had a lot to cheer about so far early in this football game. With one quarter gone, they're up 10-3 over Southern Miss. That's right. They beat Nebraska. They beat Oklahoma. First time that ever happened in the history of this program. And they are playing some very good football towards the end of the season, Sean. Well, not only beat Oklahoma, they hammered him, Mark. Put it on him. Southern Miss on second and five. A flag is thrown. Med ball. Full start. On the offense. Five yards. Second down. Now that's the part that kills you. You go first down and get five. You come back and get and, and you jump off sides, false start. Now you're back to second and ten. That young man there dusted on, and now you put him in a bag bind again. You cannot do that. So far, Southern Miss just nine yards passing. It's Dustin Allman had to take over for Mickey D'Angelo, who has the rib injury. And this doesn't help. Brings up a second and nine. Little flare pass to Wally. Great block. Springs him loose down the right sideline. Cut back. Finally, drop. By Albert Craig after a 44 yard gain. That's the way to make a young quarterback look good, Sean. Watch a kick out. Nice job. Jeremy Bridges, nice effort getting on a corner, springing him. All you got to do is get the big body in front of him and let's Wally get out on a perimeter. Big plays. If you can put your team in a position to do that, now you're on the other side of the field. The effort by Bridges up front sprung Wally. Nice job. A redshirt freshman from McComb, Mississippi. Bridges. Zalman looks deep off the pump fake. He's got a man wide open. Johnson. Bobbles the ball. They say incomplete. The second time today that Allman has had a wide receiver open deep and has overthrown the ball. I got to get Allman to slow that pulse down a little bit. He's had two wide open receivers. Now, this ball could have been caught, but it would have been a good effort. Make it easy on your receiver. Throw it up there. You had him beat by 10 yards. Ooh, that's twice. Allman wishes he had two of them because Mark, they had two touchdowns staring right at Oklahoma State on big plays. That was a great double move on the outside by Chris Johnson. And Coach Jeff Bauer doesn't have that many plays in the... In the bag to pull out. You only get so many chances in a game. Brings up second and ten. Quick pass inside. Ball tipped at the line of scrimmage. His intended wide receiver, Leroy Handy. And now we go from a potential touchdown to third and ten. And you mentioned there's not a lot of plays in your playbook, Mark, <laughs> when you miss those big plays. And they're sure as heck getting a lot on third and ten. When you have those, man, I'm sitting up here, I'm sweating because I wanted him to hit that play. Adam Bolt, I'm sure he'll be presenting another opportunity, but Oklahoma State's too good on offense to allow those to go by when you got a chance to make it. Allman checks at the line of scrimmage. And the play clock runs out. Now the young quarterback faces third and 15. Woo. And there's nothing that chaps a coach more. See Jeff Bauer there say, you don't have to check, That's does it? Right. You don't have to check. You right. can stay in that play. What happens, Mark, a lot of times young quarterbacks come in and you start to hyperventilate a little bit. And I'm not saying that Ahmed's doing it, but you start to see things that aren't there. You feel like, I got to get to this, I got to get to that. And I'm sure Coach Bauer trying to call some plays to allow Ahmed to run it, leave it on so you don't have to mess with calling audibles all the time. Southern missed two penalties today for 10 yards. They were both delay of game penalties. Under pressure, throws it out. To Young tries to make one tackler miss. It's driven out of bounds by Vernon Grant at the 33 yard line. Nine yards on the pickup, but it's going to be short. Right. That penalty kills him. It'd be a lot better position if uh, if they don't have they're not penalized with a delay of game. 
plus they could hit the big play. They're going to go for it here on fourth and seven, Mark, and uh, or fourth and six, should I say. See if they're a little bit out of field goal range, don't want to punt it, why not? Like the call by Coach Power. They're the underdogs in this game. You've got to be aggressive. Allman buys some time. Finally, called down by Greg Richmond. Southern Miss will turn it over on downs. Oklahoma State will take over first and 10 from the 35-yard line. And if you're a young quarterback and you guys at home, when it's fourth and six, you know that the defense is saying, well, we got to pressure them. You've got to have a built-in time clock to say, you know, this ball's got to come out a little quicker. Yes, can they protect better, but Dustin's got to understand that things speed up a little bit. The tempo picks up when it's fourth and six, knowing Oklahoma State's going to come after you. Just got to be able to get that ball out of your hand a little bit quicker because you put yourself in a bind. Ball turned over on downs, and Oklahoma State has it at the 35. Tatum Bell, the lone setback. Fields, ball batted up in the air. Davis almost gets to it. And it falls incomplete, ran up a second and 10. Ray Sean Jones, the man responsible for beating it up in the air. I'm surprised Rod Davis didn't tackle the football. He's only done it 116 times solo to players this year. There you see, if you can't get to the quarterback, Get your hands up and make a play. Knock it down. A nice job by Rayshon Jones to do that thing. Too many guys get in, keep their head down. Hey, if you're not going to get there, stick it up. Make a quarterback who's just barely six feet tall. Throw it over here around you. Nice job by Jones. Oh, she comes back with a two tight end formation. Fields 8 of 12 for 101 yards. One touchdown today. Play action under pressure. And the play is blown dead. Got a penalty flag down around the 47-yard line. And we've got another delay of game. Oklahoma State killing themselves with the penalties. Dead ball. Sure are. Delay on the offense. Five yards. Zero second down. Mark, we shouldn't see more than one delay of game in a game combination both teams. We've seen three on the offense now between these two teams. And it, it, it's interesting when you're watching a game like this, that the yellow flags, why they start coming out this early, Mark, long, long time off between a bowl game. So they come out, it's almost like preseason again, where you're getting your in training camp and you're trying to get things right, you're a little unorganized. The Fields does a lot of audible in the line of scrimmage, but five penalties for 55 yards so far. That's just too much. Second and 15. Fields, the bubble screen inside to T.D. Bryant. He picks up about seven or eight more. Excuse me, that was Gabe Lindsay for Rod Davis brings him down. Mark, this play has become so big in college football. You're gonna come down there, you see, boom, little hef, jab step, come inside, have guys peel back and block. Get seven, eight yards. We've seen a bunch of times in college football over the last couple of years. There you see Mike Gundy bringing out all the stops. They've screamed. They've done it all. Got 10 points on the board. They will continue to do it. But that bubble screen has been so huge for big plays across college football the last handful of years. Fields under pressure. Balls loose. Southern Miss on the recovery. Ronald Jones was the man who knocked the ball out. And who do you think came up with it? Well, I, I'll bet you it's number 24, Rod Davis. Have a look now. Jones is going to get to the quarterback. Fields holding on to it. Comes from his blind side. Going to hit him right in the back. Ball's going to come loose. It's definitely a fumble. And Rod Davis, who leads the nation in solo tackles, tackles the football. There's Look at those eyes by Rod Davis. Always aware. He is so active. Ball comes loose. First guy to get it is that big-time middle linebacker, Rod Davis. That's his third fumble recovery on the season, along with ten and a half sacks and all the tackles and the interceptions. Always around the ball, Mark. Allman hands it off inside to Wally. Picks up about six on the play, maybe seven, before Albert Craig drags him down. And you know, Mark, what's interesting, getting back to Rod Davis, you see him there on the sideline, is you know, a lot of people say, well, he's just a physical specimen and a great athlete, but you can't be around the ball that much if you don't understand offenses and understand formations and you're not aware. He is aware. That's why he tackles. That's why he can sack the quarterback. And that's why when the ball's on the ground, that young man right there is the first one to get to it. All Conference USA has filed a petition with the NFL Advisory Board to see whether or not he should make himself eligible for the NFL draft next year. Allman? 
under pressure. Throw back across the field to Garner, the tight end. Wow. And a flag to boot. Down to about the 17-yard line. Oh, the no-care attitude of a freshman quarterback. You got to love that. Now, I'll tell you what not to do at home after we get this flag. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, if you play high school football. Five yard, face mask, on the defense. Penalty number Touchdown. six on Oklahoma State, Mark. If you play high school football or Pop Warner football and you play quarterback, don't make that kind of throw. Yeah, this will not be on your highlight film. <laughs> Have a look at this, Mark. Comes down. I understand the throwback screen, but I don't think they want you to go all the way to the sideline to do it. Running, running, running. Let me throw it back. A little hesitation. Ball's in the air for a long time. That's pretty amazing. He got away with it, but don't try that at home. Wally, a couple tough yards up inside for Robinson. Balls him down at about the seven. And Mark, when you're inside the red zone area, inside that 15, 10 yard line, you can get five yards. You and I both know that's like double the pleasure because the, the end zone, you're using that as another defensive player. Those are hard yards to come by. They are indeed. Second and five. Wally, six carries for 32 yards on the day so far. And got a penalty. Dead ball, full start on the offense, five yards, still second down. Some early sloppy play and some mistimed stuff on both sides of the ball. If you're just joining us here in Houston, Texas, in Reliance State at the Houston Bowl, Southern Miss and Oklahoma State, the Cowboys up early, 10-3, Mark Malone, Sean Salisbury, Tracy Wilson, glad you could be with us. Almond. Again. This is what he does best, runs the football. Touchdown, Southern Miss. Thirteen yards for the redshirt freshman quarterback. And he's got his Golden Eagles back in this football game. And Mark, now that was a great decision by the young fella. They wanted to run the bubble screen to the left. Well, if the bubble screen's covered, what is the next thing you do? Throw it away, take off and run. That's a broken play that he runs in for a touchdown. Outstanding job by Almond not to throw it into trouble on that short little bubble screen to the wide receiver. It's nice to have athleticism to make those kind of plays, huh? Indeed it is. Kurt Jones now for the extra points. Other missed 96 straight extra points. Make it 97. And the Southern Miss Golden Eagles find their way back on the air. The true our Richard freshman, Dustin Alban. We're tied at 10. Back after this. Tie ball game. 10-32 left. In the second quarter. As the redshirt freshman Dustin Allman has found a way to get Southern Miss back in this football game. Matlock with a kickoff. Massey at the one. Got a little daylight. Finally hauled down at the 25 yard line by Joe Henley, return of 25 yards. If you missed the early action in this football game, Sean Woods, the All-American wide receiver, been big in the first quarter, ended up with three receptions for 39 yards. But Dustin Allman, the redshirt freshman, five of 10, 68 yards, and of course, he's a scrambler. 13-yard touchdown, and we've got ourselves a tie football game. Seymour Shaw, deep setback. Off right tackle for maybe two. Rod Davis is on the stop. That guy's unbelievable, Mark. I, I, you watch him in his anticipation. We see Ray Lewis do it at the next level. Guys just understand formations, and when a guy makes the move, Rod Davis beats him to the punch. And we've seen mostly in his first quarter and a half, Mark, very few people have got to his legs, and he will make a ton of tackles. He lost control of his car and uh, hurt his back. Uh, around the holiday time and missed a little bit of practice time. But he, uh, I hate to see him if he's fully yeah, healthy. He doesn't seem to be bothered by that back now. In fact, he's just involved in a bunch of car crashes out there on the football field. Second and eight. 
ill-advised throw over the middle to Bajima falls incomplete. Interesting thing there, Marcus Fields, when he's in rhythm, is great, but he drops back to double clutches. And when you double clutch, don't get your feet and body set. Ball comes out high, and that's what happens. You don't ever want to double clutch and then throw the ball late over the middle. You have to double clutch, you don't like what you see, drop it down. That's right. Drop that's it exactly down right. and move to the next play. That's exactly right. Over the middle, get somebody hurt, you get yourself an interception. Oklahoma State just two of six on third down today. Pressure avoids. He gets it outside the woods down the right sideline. Makes one man miss. And is hauled down at the 33 yard line. 39 yards on the reception. Mark, we said if you're going to blitz and you don't get to the quarterback and you're going to go single coverage on the outside, you've got problems. Nice job running along with him. Good route. Sell the inside cut. Tries to get some help from the safety. Woods sells it. Pushes off a little bit like a good receiver does. And gets a bunch of yards after the catch. That is how you make big plays. And that's why this guy has got 16 touchdown catches on the year, which leads the United States. Nearly 20 yards of reception today. The screen pass. Denard did not see it. He'll bring up a second and ten. They hook up with that one. Denard still running. He walks in. That's exactly right. Keep running down that tunnel and get yourself a glass of water because that would have been a touchdown. And Mark, I, I, I'm going to go back to this again. Is that when you've been off this long and had this layoff from the time the regular season ended to now, that those screens, which are supposed to be easy, they become missed time because you're almost going back to where you were in summer camp. Let's give some credit to that Southern Miss defense. You it's bet. aggressive. A lot of varied looks. They come after you. There's a little. Statue of Liberty screen out to the right side to Tatum Bell Jones on the play for no game Capital One Bowl week continues on ESPN with two more games up next Nebraska the old Miss Rebels clash in the mainstay Independence Bowl then at 8 Eastern Bell Roberson leads the number six ranked Kansas State Wildcats against the Arizona State Sun Devils in the 25th annual Pacific Line Holiday Bowl from Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego California the Avocado League, Sean. Oh, yeah. I know all about the Avocado League. We're both from San Diego. I wonder if Eli Manning's going to stay in school or this is his last game at Ole Miss, Mark. Well, I think his brother will and his father will help him with that decision. As Fields throw this one up for Woods, but out of bounds. You mentioned Eli Manning and... When you put up numbers like this, you can think about whether or not you want to go to the next level early. You and you know what's interesting, Mark, with the great genes that he has coming from Archie and Peyton is his brother, and Archie is his father. This kid is very composed, and he'll make the right decision. But Archie, like he did with Peyton, will allow him to make the decision whether to come out or stay in school. And we know Peyton went all four years and stayed in school. Eli's got big-time potential there, Mark. This is a 52-yard attempt by Phillips. 20 away. career best twice against Oklahoma he hit 52 yarders that's good for the one here makes it 13 10 Oklahoma State over Southern Miss stay with us Southern Miss running back Derek Nix just 12 yards short of being the all-time career rushing leader at Southern Miss has a very serious kidney ailment is not playing today his team in fact dedicating this game to him over 3,000 yards in his career, over 1,000 yards in each of the three seasons he played, Sean. Yeah, got Baby Bull on their helmets. The coach has got him on the back of their hats. His nickname is a freshman. There you see it. Mark, you know what's interesting, too, is that you kind of keep perspective. A good football player now has to battle the real things in life, huh? Absolutely. It's really important to the football game. That's for Wish sure. him all the well. Eubanks, two yards deep in the end zone. Runs into the wall at about the 17-yard line. Pinson drops it. Well, of course, without Knicks, without their quarterback, Mickey D'Angelo, Dustin Allman has come in and done a really nice job for them so far, Sean. He sure has, and he got to get a little bit more help from his receivers. I like the fact the kid's standing in there. He's getting hit in the mouth, and when it's not open, Mark, as you know, they like to move him out, let him use his athleticism, making plays, keeping the play alive when nothing's there. Five of ten in the passing department for 68 yards, two runs, including that 13-yard 
touchdown run. And a red shirt freshman, so he hasn't got a lot of practice time throughout his career here. Anthony Harris now in a tailback. And he's hit behind the line of scrimmage. No game. Kevin Williams, the big defensive tackle who, Les Miles said, this kid could be something real special at the next level. Yeah, and he plays like it, Mark. And he's, you know, didn't get a lot of national publicity, but man alive, does he get back there? And you mentioned disruptive when you described him at the top. That's exactly what he is, and he's constantly, when the motor's running all the time, this guy can make some plays for him. There he is, Kevin Williams, senior. And there's some pro scouts that are here today having a good look, see at this kid. First team, all Big 12. Ball's on the ground. Dustin Allman had problem with a snap. Both teams are claiming possession, but we're going to get third down. We talked about the delay of game penalties irritate coaches. The thing that irritates them just as much as not more mark is that quarterback center exchange, but somehow, some way, you got to find a way to control that, especially in weather like this, which is good. You can't leave that ball on the ground. It's always the center's ball, right? Of course it is. <laughs> I confess he did it. The Golden Eagles 0 for 2 on third down today. They hand it off to Anthony Harris. He gets it out to about the 23 yard line. It's going to be well short of a first down. We've got a player down on the field. They got a holding penalty too, Mark, and I, on Southern Miss, I believe that they'd probably decline it if I was them and make uh, make Southern Miss punt it. That looks like uh, Kurt Milligan safety it's considerably behind the play. A lot of times in that area, you wonder if somebody cut him on the backside, Mark. Mm -hmm. Block in the back on the offense. Penalty is declined. Fourth down. Courtney Mozzi, our referee today. We've heard far too much from him early on. Yes, we have. Too many penalties. Look at his up. Looks like he's pointing to his ankle. Another block in the back. Decline again, and they'll force the punt. Got back to that mark when it was third and what 13 going into the last play. And the ball, if you don't have much to do to go to if you're an offense when you're in that situation. Now it's going to bring out Mark Hallman, number two all time in Southern Miss, averaging 41.6 yards per punt. T.D. Bryant, deep to receive, a high kick, waves it off, and it's going to take a Southern Miss bounce. T.D. picks it up, breaks the tackle, and then it's hauled down at the 35-yard line. Dangerous play, 43 yards on the punt, just one yard on the return. We're going to take a short break. We're all tied up, or excuse me, 13-10, Oklahoma State. College basketball on ESPN. Take it to the rack with a full day of high intensity. ESPN's exclusive presentation of the 2002 Houston Bowl. Brought to you by Administan, a professional personnel management services company. Find them at www.administaff.com. And by the new Honda Element. Go with it. Welcome back to Houston, Texas, the Houston Bowl. Where with 622 remaining in the first half, Oklahoma State leads by a field goal. First and ten, Fields, quick toss outside to T.D. Bryant, picks up maybe two yards before Pruitt makes the tackle. Pretty fast defense, Mark. They can cover those little swing passes pretty well, sideline to sideline. Nice job by Southern Miss. The Cowboys using the passing game as their running game. They're minus five yards rushing OSU so far in this football game. <laughs> and they lead 13 to 10. Yeah, they do. Second and eight. Bell on the counter. 
picks his way up to about the 37 yard line. Let's check in with Tracy. Tracy. Thanks, guys. Well, Oklahoma State Junior Rashawn Woods is deciding whether he's going to leave early for the NFL draft. He has several decisions and several options. Obviously, he can leave, go to the pros, and reap the financial benefits that go along with it. Or he can stay at OSU, help the Cowboys move up in the ranks in the Big 12, break several more records, have a shot at the Heisman, and most importantly for him, play with his two brothers. Dewan is a redshirt freshman who has seen some time this year at wide receiver. And his other brother, Donovan, is a recruit coming in at quarterback. Wood says he'd like to make a decision soon. His deadline is January 15th. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Tracy. Fields, attempted pass for Lewis, falls short. And, and Tracy makes a good point about him entering the draft, Mark. I talked to a general manager before the game today who said that he'd like to see the kid stay right now. I mean, probably a second-round draft pick, but needs to strengthen, get a little bit stronger. But that's one man's Holy opinion. On the offense, penalty is the crown, fourth down. They would probably recommend, you know, go back to school. And a lot of these guys, the good ones, want to see these kids staying as long as they can to get more mature. He's definitely got the ability, though, Mark. We've seen that. And I don't think one more year would hurt him, to be honest and with you. We toss around the fact that there are a lot of guys who are potential Heisman candidates. This kid is a real Heisman candidate yeah. next year. And his brother, Devon, probably the highly, most highly recruited quarterback out of the state of Oklahoma. One of the better quarterbacks out of high school in the United States. You always say, if you're not going to be a first-round pick, I would always tell another classman to stay in school. That's far as play for two brothers. Deep punt. Young, the 21, spins out of a tackle. Down the sideline. Finally knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. 40 yards on the punt, 28 on the return. The Cowboys lead by a field goal, 13-10 over Southern Miss. Welcome back to Houston as we continue with the Houston Bowl, Oklahoma State and Southern Miss. 447 remaining in the second quarter. Dustin Allman, the redshirt freshman who had started three games earlier this season because of a concussion to the starter, Mickey D'Angelo, thrust into a role today because of an injury to D'Angelo and has played well. Five of ten. He's rushed for a touchdown and he's getting some help from his running game. 69 yards on the ground so far. By Southern Miss. Showing us some guts by standing in there and taking some shots to the mouth, too. Play action. Looking deep, and he's got a receiver down the right sideline. What a wonderful catch. Chris Johnson pulls it in with one hand inside the 10 yard line. Now we've seen two times Almond's overthrown wide open receivers. This time, Nice throw, fades it to the outside. Rolly, his guy can get it. How about that one-handed Paul bringing it in by Johnson? That is how you take advantage of it. Good return on special teams. Come back and respond with the first play down the field. Nice job. That, that throw was tougher than the other two that he missed, Mark. So it looks like he's getting into a little rhythm. Great catch by Johnson to keep that ball alive. They pick on the true freshman, Vernon Grant, number 20. Now the little flare screen pass. And he's dropped immediately by Grant. And by his own man, Jeremy Bridges. <laughs> that, that big fellow's trying to get out there and knock somebody over every time, isn't he? He's done a great job today. Sure we saw him has. earlier level a defensive back. He comes up limping a little bit. And he himself, a redshirt freshman, 6'4", 307 pounds, out of Macomb, Mississippi. Golly, that was the biggest guy on my high school team <laughs> at one point. At about 215. Frightening. Yeah, and they can also move, too. Second and nine. Speed option. Alvin puts his heads down and fouls up to around the five-yard line. Chris Massey, the safety, the first one in on the tackle. Little option, little speed option into the short side. I think it's probably a pretty good decision when you're when you're running to the short side not to pitch that football. And there you see Southern Miss inside the 20 mark 30 or 45 22 touchdowns at eight field goal today one for one at 30 needs to go up about a handful in order to get up there with where they need to be but one for one today which is huge and out of 41 attempts against the defense OSU has given up 30 touchdowns Allman tries to get a couple of there under pressure Antonio Smith gets credit for the tackle after a two-yard loss and that At least he did something smart by not taking points off the board, by allowing your field goal kicker, not taking a sack in the red zone, what I mean, Mark. 
Brown, you've got to come in, kick yourself a little 29-yard field goal here. And Jones is one for one with a 38 yard. So this should be relatively easy for him. From 24 yards. For Jones. Did I say 29? Yeah, 24. My bad. Is two for two. And we have a tie ball game, 13 all from the Houston Bowl. There is a start, there is a finish, and in the journey between, there are dreams. The NCAA Hall of Champions keeps these dreams alive for you. More than a museum, the NCAA Hall of Champions takes you on an interactive journey. Relives the Texas, the Houston Bowl, where Oklahoma State Southern Miss are tied, 13 all with 229 remaining in the first half. Jacob Madlock will do the kicking for Southern Miss. T.D. Bryant and Chris Massey are back deep for the Cowboys. Field goal kickers are doing their job today, huh, Mark? What, 4-4 four, four now? Is that Absolutely. what it is? Madlock sends it five yards deep, and Bryant's going to take a knee. They'll take over on possession from the 20-yard line. Halftime coming up. Let's check in with Chris Fowler and see what we're going to hear about. Well, Mark, we're going to talk about the other two Big 12 teams in bowl action today. Nebraska trying to outmuscle Ole Miss and Kansas State, by far the best team playing before New Year's Day, wants to make a strong statement against Arizona State. Plus, we'll check out the conference standings, the Conference Bowl Challenge Cup, an important day for the Big 12 in that. That's coming up from Trevor Mark joining me at halftime. All right, look forward to it, Chris. Good games on the day, Mark. Capital One Bowl Week. You like college football, it's the place to be. Fields tries to go deep, but overthrows Lewis. Bring up a second and ten. There you see Fields and Amon. Pretty even. The touchdown pass by Fields, but Amon's come off the bench, did a nice job of keeping them in it with his active feet. Fields been hit a few times, but uh, Definitely has a big playability, does Fields and Woods on that side of the ball. A lot of those yards for Allman on the one catch by Chris Johnson, the one-hander. Fields under pressure with a blitz. Breaks out of the pocket. Steps out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Championship Series kicks off on ABC. Big 12 champs Oklahoma make their first trip to the Rose Bowl in school history. The Sooners face the Pac-10 champion Washington State Cougars. The Rose Bowl game presented by PlayStation 2 at 4.30 Eastern Time. 1.30 Pacific on ABC Sports Championship Television. Cannot get the game on television? ESPN Radio will have nationwide coverage. ABC Sports, the class of college football. Kevin Griffin, Oklahoma oh, running back pretty darn good there. Bell, back in the ball game. Takes the ball with gaping hole near midfield. A gain of 15 yards before Hedrick Pruitt, the free safety, can haul him down. Bell's been on a bit of a roll the last five games, hasn't he, Mark? Oh. 100 yards in each of those games after not doing much in the first five. First and ten. Going deep. Woods down the sideline. Great catch in an open field. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. on the pass play from Fields to Woods with 138 remaining in the first half. Makes the play over Brooks and Cash and Mark. I say it every time we do a game. As a defensive back, you must find the ball, not play the receiver, because if you play the receiver, you're too late. You get a chance to see that in a minute. Phillips on for the extra point. And it's good. Mark, when you got a receiver like Woods, why not throw the football up? Now, here's the difference. Woods, watching the football, going to come back, see him there squatting on the corner a little bit, get a nice jam, and watch his head. Look back, look back. Both guys play the man. Easy catch. Little run after the catch. That is too easy 
And when you got two guys on him, that should not happen, no matter how good he is. And why not if you're fields? Like I said, throw that ball up. If it's not there, you sometimes get pass interference, or the ball gets batted down, which is fine. But Woods comes back, reaches at its highest point, culminates in a touchdown. Probably an ill-advised pass from Fields, but no, now no doubt. Woods, five catches for 129 yards and a touchdown on the day. His touchdown caps off a four-play 80-yard drive that took exactly one minute and 45 seconds. And, and if you're going to throw it into coverage, that's not a bad guy to throw oh. it to. So that's called short. And Mark, we've both done. We've had players we've trusted like that in our careers where you throw it up and you say, you know what? Regardless, he will find a way to make a play on us one way or the other. And that's what Woods did for Fields. His 17th receiving touchdown of the year, which leads the nation. And remember, bowl games do count now for the first year in statistics throughout the season. So this counts on all his statistics and his numbers. Fart. A deep kick. Eubanks driven back eight yards deep in the end zone will take the knee and the Golden Eagles will take over on the 20 yard line take a look at the Southern Miss defense which has been a real good one so far this season but today well a little tougher against this explosive Cowboy offense and Rashawn Woods yeah I was gonna say they haven't seen haven't seen a guy like this this season have they explosive there you see Davis, Rod Davis, the middle linebacker, and there's Fields who put that ball up, having a good game, over 200 yards passing already before halftime. So Alvin and the Golden Eagles have a minute 38 left in the half. Try to get back on the board. Alvin, the hitch pass outside to Johnson, breaks one tackle. Finally pulled down at the 26-yard line after a six-yard game. Fontaine Carter with a tackle. It's a good job by the young redshirt freshman. Goes all the way to his left, come back to his right. Got a hitch route sitting down on the outside and hits Johnson with the pitch. Nice safe throw for six yards. I don't sit on this either, Mark. I attack right now. You don't want to get... Be, don't, don't play scared, but don't play stupid now. Be smart, but go after it. Uh-oh. Miscommunication that time. An almost interception as Kenneth Johnson was the intended receiver, but Vernon Grant, the true freshman corner, squatted on the play and almost had himself a big six. Yeah, Mark, you mentioned it earlier. Once you continue to go to that well and a quarterback starts staring things down, you start to guess, you start to guess, and here it is. Nope, little stop route, nice drive on it. That may set up down the road, Mark, for a little uh, hitch and go, or a little curl and go if you can uh, get by him. Because they're getting a little bit nosy now as Oklahoma State. Southern Miss, 0 for 4 on the day on third downs. Hands the ball off to Wally. He's knocked out of bounds, but looks short of the first down. Terrence Robinson, the inside linebacker, gets credit for the tackle. And 58 seconds might be a little too much time for Oklahoma State's offense if your Southern misses defense as quickly as they can score. Well, out comes the punt team for the Golden Eagles. Hallman got off a good boot earlier today. Will be click, kicking to TD Bryant. High wobbly punt. Bryant at the 35. Nowhere. 38 yards on the punt. Maybe two yards on the return. John Eubanks. A corner and return man for Southern Miss, the first one. There's a future quarterback the too, Mark. Oh no, he wants to be he wants to be a wide receiver. <laughs> Got Rashawn Woods jersey on. I understand why, young fella. I understand why. <laughs> you should mention Oklahoma State bringing about 30,000 fans here with him to this football game. It's a sea of orange. Boy, is it ever? And Mark, you know, hanging around the hotel where a lot of fans are, they are into it. They were up oh. bright and early this morning. Excited about their team, and they should be. Fields across the middle to Bryant. Alex Ray on the coverage. They'll take over first and ten again after a 20 yard gain from the 42 yard line. In the hurry up offense, 37 seconds and counting. Now that 
Now that there, Mark, there's a little ball movement by the center. That should not be on Southern Miss. He's double clutched the ball, did the center. That should be a motion penalty on Oklahoma State. Does stop the clock. On the offense, five yards. Good call. Ben <laughs> Bowie. <laughs> I understand a center trying to trying to give his guys a head start, but this might be a little much. You'll see a lot of times centers will squeeze the ball a little bit to try and get a guy to jump off, but this is more than squeeze. That would be called a <laughs> semi-snap. Those big fellas are clever. 91, Terrell Paul looking at the ball. That's their cue to get off, not the snap count. Fields throws it back up for Woods again. And Woods this time can't come down with it. Roy Johnson on the coverage. Now that now, Mark, that's the difference. We saw the touchdown to Woods, guys playing the receiver. Now you watch the coverage, and a nice job by Leroy Johnson to go up. Now look, he's playing ball all the way. He eyeballs the ball, jump, I'm going to get it at its highest point also. That's great secondary coverage by him, and a big difference in the touchdown in that one, not letting Woods beat you to the punch. Fields getting a little too comfortable by just throwing the yes, ball up is. nonchalantly. He needs to drive that ball when he has that kind of coverage. Second and 15. The slant pass inside the woods, but there's a flag on the play. So that play will stand. Now we have 15 seconds on the clock, Sean, trying to get inside probably the 30-yard line for a decent chance at a field goal here. All right, you can either use the timeout or pound the outside lane with a little out cut. Or... Side, on the defense, penalty is the flag, third down. And they need a few more yards. It's third down in order to be able to kick the field goal, too, because this would be about a 52 or 3 or 4-yard field goal. We've got a little time out here to talk it over. Well, they probably have a shot at what? Maybe one play, two at the most. At the most. Kill it. And you know what's interesting, Mark? The last field goal that was kicked was 52 yards. Yes. Might have been good for 10, 12, 15 more. So they probably don't need far to go to get to his uh, legitimate range. Well, as they try to uh, figure out another way to put some points on the board to come up with a bold victory here. They're trying to add on to a couple of big wins that uh, came together for them late in the year. First against Nebraska, 24-21. As Fields found a way to get the ball to Lewis. And then against Oklahoma. Later in the season, the final game, Rashawn Woods, a huge day, had three touchdowns. And it's the first time in Oklahoma State University football history that the Cowboys beat both Nebraska and Oklahoma in the same season. And you know, Mark, Nebraska, and they're playing in that Independence Bowl later on ESPN. Get the chance to see Eli Manning for Ole Miss. But Nebraska, even though they were down there 7-5, and five, Frank Solich's team, and, and a lot of talk out of Nebraska. I know they've had to fire some coaches. But you know what's amazing? 34th straight bowl appearance for Nebraska, which is unbelievable. Third down, they stay on the ground and hand it off. Maybe two, three yards. OSU uses up a, tied out, a timeout. Got to kick this one now. This is well within his range. And they got the ball spotted pretty good there inside the hash marks. It's going to be it all of a 50, 51 yard field goal here. Want a bowl game? About Barry Sanders. He had a pretty big day, didn't he? 222 Ooh. yards. On he's pretty good, isn't he? Yeah, he's not bad. <laughs> he's not bad. Even had a football handful of years, he's still come back and rushed for 1,600 on somebody. 62-14 over Wyoming in the final. That was their last bowl win. I'd be trying to talk him out of retirement every year, <laughs> Mark. <laughs> Unbelievable player and a guy that just did it the right way with class. 52-yard attempt officially for Luke Phillips. Already made one from this distance. And it is blocked. You, my friend, are prophetic. Not pathetic, prophetic. <laughs> Calling that one the low driving field goal that gets blocked on a long distance shot, Mark. Well, again, as you take a look at it again, it's uh, it's going to come from right in here, Mark. And if you try to drive it low from 52 yards, look what happens. You're trying to get all the lip can out of it. Nice job. Rod Davis got up there. Good job inside, and I believe that was Pruitt. Excuse me. Yep. The three. Well, they sure do love Derek Nick Southern Miss, don't they, Mark? The On the return team, 10 yards from the final foul. 
First down. What a nice young man. Oh. You hate for a guy that young to have to go through a battle. Here he is at the prime of his life in his football career, and now he's in for a battle, which is amazing. But he's, what, a, what, a, what a great attitude he has. And for people who aren't familiar with the story, he rushes in 98-99 for 1,000 yards and has an ankle injury that's pretty severe. They have to put him on some anti-inflammatories that they believe caused a reaction that attacked his kidneys. And he has been struggling with that, missed most of the 2000 and 2001 season with that, came back this year, rushed for 1,000 yards, missed one game, finished up with 139 yards in the finale against East Carolina, and then the kidney problem fail, uh, flared back up again. Amazing that he was able to even go out there and perform like mm -hmm. he did, Mark. First and 10 now from the 23. Wally to the left. Picks up five yards on the play before Lawrence Pinson drags him down from behind. The baby bull, as we take a look at his career numbers, pretty darn good. Over 3,000 yards rushing. And as Tracy mentioned, what, 12 yards shy of yeah. the SMU all-time career rushing and record. And as you heard him say, the record, hey, you know, well, that's no big deal. He wishes he could be out there helping his team. Boy, what a contribution he's made in his career here. Second and four. His backup, Wally, takes the counter and is dropped. The line of scrimmage by Pinson, again on the tackle. And I also can't imagine, Mark, being Derek Nix, if you've been successful in your career, to all of a sudden have somebody come and tell you, you know what, you're not going to be able to play anymore when you're the height of it. You know, you're looking forward possibly to playing at the next level, and now he's going to have to go into coaching. He's heard him talk about finishing his master's degree. So he's a bright young man, but that's got to be tough because most of us, you know, Mark, we want to push the envelope as much as we can, but when you're that young and don't have an opportunity to perform at the next level, I know that's got to be a bummer for him. His brother Tyrone Nix, the defensive coordinator for Southern Miss, the second youngest coordinator in college football. Oh, off the helmet of the wide receiver, Almond drills the football to Roy Handy. Handy doesn't even see it, goes right off of his helmet and up in the air, almost an interception. Yeah, he may not have saw it, but I'll tell you what, he felt it. As you can hear it up here. Little crossing route. Got to get your head around. You got to get your head around. See, he was looking for the crosser that he was going to cross over the top of. But when that ball's coming out and you got pressure, the second you clear the line of scrimmage, you have got to locate your quarterback and get your hands and eyes back at him. Holman today, just over 40 yards average. TD Bryant, deep for the Cowboys. Snap a little high. And this is an end over end kick, short. And out of bounds at about the 44-yard line. So good field position now for the Cowboys, who have managed to bring themselves into a tie with Southern Miss. 23-all from Houston. Back after this. Week of the year. Friday, Jamal Lord and Nebraska's high-speed ground game square off against Eli Manning and the Ole Miss Air Attack. Later, L. Roberson leads K-State's powerhouse offense against Sackmaster Terrell Suggs and the Sun Devils. Nebraska, Mississippi in the Mainstay Independence Bowl at 4.30. Kansas State, Arizona State in the Pacific Life Holiday Bowl at 8. Capital One Bowl Week continues today on ESPN. Welcome back to Houston, the Houston Bowl. Stay tuned. More college football bowl action coming up from the Mainstay Independence Bowl. Eli Manning, Ole Miss. Capital One, Bull Week continues as Fields hands the ball off to Tatum. He's dragged down by Henley at the 45-yard line after a gain of 14. Let's get you caught up and tell you how Southern Miss somehow has managed to stay in this football game. It has a lot to do with the backup quarterback, Dustin Allman, who's been, well, as much running back as he's been quarterback today. 11 of 19 for 173 yards. No touchdowns, but more importantly, no interceptions. And, of course, 14 carries, including the 13-yard touchdown run. And I'll tell you what, in the mold of Brett Favre, a Southern Miss grad, uh, grad that kid knows how to play football. You're doggone right. And if I was him, I'd steal that jersey and take it home with me. It's so dirty, you deserve it after what you've put in. Steal's not a good word. How about just keep, man? There you go. Fields throws it up, and it's intercepted by Brooks. Finally, the jump ball that he's thrown three or four times today 
to Woods comes back to haunt him. Mark, you made the point in the first half when he threw one up. He got a touchdown out of it, then threw another one up that got knocked down. Well, he does it. You said he's going to get himself in trouble, and he did. He's going to lob it up there. I understand having trust and confidence in your All-America type receiver in Woods, but you know what? You can't do that. Throw it into double coverage. That's an easy interception, and you see Brooks catching it again, Mark. He's not playing the receiver. He's playing deep safety in the middle of the field. He's going to sit back there and catch it at its highest point. Bam. Interception could be costly now coming out of their own end zone. They're coming out of their own 10 yard line now for uh, Southern Miss. Bad throw. From the nine, Wally off left tackle. Out to about the 15 yard line before Kevin Williams brings him down. Gain of six on the play. He's run the ball pretty hard today, hasn't he? Mark? He's run extremely well. You look at what. Uh, Southern Miss has done so far rushing the football 128 yards to Oklahoma State's 60 yards and again them being able to run the football has helped this this redshirt freshman quarterback. No doubt Mark we're coming in with the, with Nick's not being able to play we said they had to control it and Wally was going to have to shoulder that and he's done a good job they, there is a team up over 100 yards with the quarterback and running backs combined. Great play action fake by Allman on the bootleg naked stretches out for the first down and it's going to be close. Chris Massey, the weak safety, is the only man standing between him and a long run down the left sideline. Mark, have you ever noticed that sometimes stars are born in the most, in the, in the craziest of times coming off the bench, don't think you're going to play? Kid uses great ball handling here. And then get now, this is the effort I like, stretching and going for the first down. And this redshirt fresh was pretty darn good, and they may have discovered something here at Southern Miss. People don't understand how difficult it is to stand there calmly with the ball hit behind your back like nothing's happening because occasionally you'll do that and somebody will ear hole you. <laughs> it's not an easy thing to do. You turn right around, right around into a train wreck is what you do. There's Mickey D'Angelo, the guy that is hurt, little rib cage problem, and uh, replaced by this quarterback here. And Dustin Allman's done a really nice job of keeping them in the game today. First and ten. Allman to the flat, just out of the reach of the intended receiver, Garner, the tight end. That'll bring up second and ten. I like where he put the ball, though. If you're going to miss it, that's you where you want to miss that route. Yeah, not you're throwing outside. Don't miss inside because somebody takes it back for a touchdown. And it was an accurate throw. A little out in front. The ball's got to be caught. There's head coach Jeff Bauer. I like to call that wigwagging the signals in. Well, of the 298 total offensive yards by Southern Miss, that man, Dustin Allman, has 225 of them. Quick drop. Inside. Miscommunication there. Roy Handy seemed to be the intended receiver in the slot. Fonta Carter on the coverage. Uh, that ball you got to get down. That's the one where you got to body and protect your receiver. Those high throws. He got away with one because if that ball gets tipped they usually end up going the other way. Little uh, didn't anticipate the throw as well as he has early I mean the throws before that. But now it's third and ten. Once again be aware you're backed up. Be aware of pressure and protect the football if you're Dustin Allman. Two for eleven today on third down. Under pressure from Williams, who drags him down at about the 16-yard line. And all of a sudden, the big defensive tackle starting to raise his ugly head and become a factor in this yeah, football game. Yeah, this second half, he's been, he's been dynamite. Kevin Williams looks like he's playing against a Pop Warner team. He's going to come in the tie. There you are, out of the screen there, inside. He's been in that backfield more than the running back and quarterback have in the second half, Mark, and that's what you talked about, about his activity and about his disruption, and he's been doing it all night long here, especially in the second half. Hallman, who punted after a high snap, the last punt, brought his average down to 36 yards in this game, booms one and sends T.D. <laughs> Bryant back to the 25-yard line. Bryant breaks a tackle and scrambles his way out to about the 34. 56 yards on the punt, six yards on the return as the Oklahoma State defense rises up along with Kevin Williams to keep that man, Dustin Allman, in check. We're tied 23 all from the Houston Bowl.
370 Fortune 500 companies outsource with Kinko's every day. Another holiday on the credit card, huh? Yeah, my balance is really piling up. But I'll worry about that in January. You could get a Capital One no-hassle card. <laughs> nah. I need to... My interest charge is running up your balance? Get the Capital One no-hassle card for the nation's lowest long-term fixed rates, $0 fraud liability, and no telemarketing. What's in your wallet? Okay, see how the tread side of the rails warm more than the other side? Felt like a million. Felt like number one. Like a rock. What are you handing down to your kids? Like a rock. Chevy, the most dependable, longest lasting trucks on the road. Like At Red Lobster's All You Can Eat Shrimp Celebration, you'll never have to use silverware. You'll never have to choose between freshly breaded shrimp and scampi. And you'll never have to stop. All you can eat shrimp, right now at Red Lobster. Now on a special edition DVD, Barbershop, Jam Back. All Big 12 defensive tackle. We see you, big fella. From Fordyce, Arkansas. Boy, has he been a factor here in the second half. Man. Cowboys first and 10, bootleg. Bajima, the tight end. Hurdles one tackle, cuts it back inside, and finally dragged down at the 34-yard line. No, that's not Jeremy Shockey in an orange Miami Hurricane jersey you're looking at. <laughs> kind of looks like him, though. Badge him a little bootleg. Coming outside naked, get him into the flat right now. Don't wait for him to be covered. Nice move there. Gets the help from his friends. Runs right through a tackle. That is a huge gain out of your tight end for a first down and moving. They go back to the ground, Tatum, for maybe two yards on the play. Majima came into this football game with just 15 receptions on the year, one touchdown, but he had a big game in the season finale against uh, Oklahoma. Show. Right, and it was a big part of that huge upset that Oklahoma State put on the Sooners. What's that, two years in a row now Oklahoma State's got Oklahoma. Absolutely. I'm sure that doesn't sit well well, oh, well, no. well in Norman right oh, now. Oh, you're not kidding, it doesn't. Second down and eight. From the 32. That's what those stemming and moving around, Mark, calling a timeout. That's what happens as Southern Miss moves around. They can confuse you a little bit. Well, both teams now have burned a timeout with 9.20 remaining in the fourth quarter. Ball game time, 23 all. We're back after this. ESPN's exclusive presentation of the 2002 Houston Bowl. Brought to you by Kinko's Network. On-site, off-site, and everything in between. Tap into the network. Capital One, who asks, what's in your wallet? To the victor goes the spoils. That trophy will be awarded to the winning team here at the Houston Bowl. It's either going to go back on a plane or a bus, depending yes. on whether it goes to Southern Miss or Oklahoma State. How do you get that through security? <laughs> I don't know. Second down and eight. Play action. Out in the flat to Denard, but it's broken up by Michael Bully. Ooh, he keeps his feet, catches that football. Southern Miss is up by seven. Look at the passing yards allowed. Josh Fields came out and lit it up in the first half. And remember, this was the fifth best passing defense in the country. In the second half, they're playing like the defense we expected. That's exactly right. They're just they're, they're chesting up on the outside guys, playing physical, and they're pressuring the quarterback. Fields outside and complete to John Lewis. And we're getting close to. Record material here for Josh Fields. 
Yards. He's over 300 yards for the day. Here it is, Mark. He's going to come out here, run an out cut here, and he's going to keep the ball low and outside, give his guy a chance to catch it. When you're Lewis, you're going to get a lot of single coverage with Rashawn Woods on your team. It's a way to body him with the throw. It's third or the fourth down. I believe they're going for in that little scrum situation again, Mark. Last time, quarterback sneak. This time over the left side, good for three yards and move the chains. Josh Fields picks it up with a quarterback sneak, but I'll tell you what, so far today, 309 yards, which my stats guy tells me here is a new Houston Bowl record. 307 was the record held two years ago. Cliff Kingsbury put up those numbers. And 300 and some yards by Cliff Kingsbury. That was a half. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so big day for Josh Fields. Although he struggled a little bit throwing the ball here in the second half. The counter pitch to Bell. Up inside, breaks the tackle. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tatum Bell, 22 yards on the counter pitch. That's your favorite play, Mark. You talked about that with us yesterday. Get that flow going. You got a linebacker like Rod Davis and a defense that runs. You make it look like you're tossing it to come one way, and he takes a little jab step and goes back across the grain and cuts it inside. They ran it to death against the Sooners for a ton of yards. Phillips. The extra point is good. Look at this thing again. It's well-designed play. You don't see it back to the weak side. See what's going to happen, Mark. They start, get a little inside pull now, kicks out, jumps it in there. Tatum for a touch. We'll show you what this thing does here. What it does, it gets people flowing to the left because they think toss outside. It gives somebody a chance to get on. Davis, as you saw, lead up inside, get a body on number 24, who's their best tackler. Get Tatum into the end zone. Because flow starts when you see toss, because that's not your normal counter play. And they, they run it, or they start the toss to the bunch side, where they have the fullback over there. They flex the tight end. They bring the flanker down. It looks like a power running formation. They start the toss that way, and then come back weak. I'll tell you, it really causes And they use one of those, the bunch fullback, to come in and be your kick-out guard that kicks out and gets up on a guy like uh, Rod Davis to clear the way. And what you do is you open up that hole because Davis now has to respect that. It gives you an easier path and an easier angle to block him. And Tatum hits the hole nice and tight, runs it up in there for a score. The 22-yard touchdown run caps a six-play, 66-yard drive that took two minutes and 26 seconds. So now puts the Cowboys up by a touchdown with 8.07 remaining in the football game. Banks takes it at the goal line. Breaks one tackle. He's got some room and he's got some speed. Still on his feet. Finally dragged down at midfield. Capital One Bowl Week continues on ESPN with two more games. Up next, Nebraska and the Ole Miss Rebels clash in the mainstay Independence Bowl. Then at 8 Eastern, L. Roberson leads the number six ranked Kansas State Wildcats against the Arizona State Sun Devils and the 25th annual Pacific Life Holiday Bowl from Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego, California. For more on this season's entire college football bowl action, you can log on to ESPN.com. Mark, as you see, some of the things have gone on already. Cliff Kingsbury, we'll get back to that after this play. So a 50-yard return, it's Ole Miss in business, or Southern Miss in business, excuse me. Allman, play action, has a man deep, but overthrows him again. Good coverage on the play. Once again, Mark, Cliff Kingsbury, you talked about the record that was broken today, but here's a guy, 32 of 43. I watched that tangerine ball. He was sensational. We got our first female to appear in a Division I football game. She also makes cookies for the guys, too, so she can kick in. I'm serious. <laughs> easy. Kick in. No, I'm Easy. Dead. You're no, she a lot did. of email. No, she did. Okay. She actually brought, she admitted that she brought cookies. She makes cookies and could kick, so she's not only a good cook, but she's a good athlete. I'm gonna and that's the truth, I promise. I'm gonna leave I didn't come up with that. Second down and 10 from midfield. Wally pushing the pile, grinding it out, picks up 
maybe two yards. You see, Mark, everybody's so sensitive these days. I'm talking you, the more you can do. If you could play football and cook, you got it licked, man. You're big. That's awesome. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't know. Uh, be honest with you, what. Uh, Good what, for her, though, huh? To well, be able to go out and kick it a game. You know, we, we've seen it happen from time to time. And, I mean, the evolution of the sport and athletes, and there's some great athletes out there. And certainly somebody who can kick the football has an opportunity to. to, to I'm happy football. for her. I think that's another step in the right direction for, for female athletes. I mean, a lot of it's been in the news lately, Mark. And good for her that she has that chance. Well, we take uh, Southern Miss now. In a situation that uh, is going to uh, create some decision making for Jeff Bauer. Got to punt it, don't you, Mark? What do we I got? 6.55 so. left. I think so. 6.55 remaining. Defense is playing pretty well other than the touchdown. A good kick here by Allman, and you got a chance to pin this football team. The Cowboys back deep in their own territory. D.D. Davis deep again. And it looks like they've allowed the time to expire on the play clock, so they'll move it back another five Let yards. Go. Play of the game on the offense. Five yards. Fourth down. And when you're closer to the end zone, you might expect that kind of a delay, but not at midfield, Sean. No, I agree. And his last kick, we booted it out. They must have some confidence he's going to get it deep and back in there. But when you're at midfield, you back 15 yards from the snap. Move it back five more. Field position is what this is going to come down to here in the fourth quarter. Hallman's last punt, 56 yards. An average today of 41. And he bangs this one deep again. Davis lets it go. And it takes a Southern Miss bounce it down on about the two-yard line. Good job getting that penalty. <laughs> 51 yards on the punt. Oklahoma State takes over, leading 30 to 23 in his last five games. Got to avoid mistakes. The game coming up shortly. All right, Chris, look forward to that. Eli Manning carrying on the tradition of his <laughs> father, his brother. And Is there any more left at home? I don't know, but <laughs> I want to invest in the grandkids. I can assure you that. And uh, one thing you know for sure, Mark, is that he'll understand what's going on on the field like every Manning that comes down the pipe does. Well, Great family. Oklahoma State. Begins at their own two-yard line. Bell, a gaping hole over the right side. Breaks into the open, and it's a foot race. Bell, with big-time speed, is finally run down by Brooks. Brooks and Leroy Johnson bring him down, but not after he goes 88 yards on a carry. First and 10 from their own two-yard line. Do you guys remember Tony Dorsett against oh. Minnesota for 99 yards? Kind of looked a little bit like it all the way back up. Gonna go the little counter tray, get a man up in there to kick out. And now it's just speed and athleticism. Great effort by Southern Miss to prevent the touchdown. But that can be a backbreaker when you're coming out of your own because you had a good chance to get him back and get good field position. That's a way to get you out of it. And that's why Bell has rushed for over 100 yards five times down the stretch here. Great job. 11 rushes now for 145 yards and a touchdown for Bell, who has 4-3 speed. How far was that run, Mark? 88? 88 yards. That'll raise the per carry average. A little bit. Yeah, just a tad. But did you notice, though, the defense of Southern Miss? Leroy Johnson trying to chase him down, not quitting on it. No. There's Bell, 13-2 a carry. That's, that's pretty good for a day's work, considering that you've thrown the ball for over 300 yards also. Not a bad deal. Jeff Bauer knows that one hurts there, Mark. Defense has now got to come up with a big play after Tatum Bell rips off the longest run of his career. This has been such a competitive, good football game on both sides of the ball. A little sloppy early on, but they've kept the flags away here in the second half and just played. Seymour Shaw now in at halfback for Bell. He gets a rest. He gets the ball on the counter. And hammered by Ray Sean Jones after a pickup of a couple 
This is a huge stand for Southern Miss. Mark went down by seven. You know, you get you give up two now because a two touchdown game. Well, now two possessions, you kick a field goal and score. If in fact they only get a field goal out of this, but this has got to be the typical Southern Miss, who's pretty doggone good in the red zone, to hold these guys to a field goal if possible. A touchdown would be very difficult to come back of a two touchdown deficit for Southern Miss. He comes up big there. The intended ball for Woods, Roy Johnson, who saved the touchdown on the coverage. Bauer's got to be extremely proud of this football team. He Without a starting does. quarterback. Without the big time running back. With the middle linebacker whose back's been bothering him and still in making it darn near every tackle. Bell's back in the game, Mark. Remember, he's the one who scored the touchdown on that toss counter. Come back and then the 88-yard run. Don't be surprised. Third and goal. They go to Woods and he can't hold on. Bowley and Brooks on the coverage. And that's going to keep Southern Miss in the ball game as Oklahoma State is forced to trot out their field goal team. You know, Mark, what's interesting is when you when you got a guy you love to go to like Woods does with uh, Rashawn does, like Josh does with Rashawn, if you hold that ball and come back and check it down, Bell walks into the end zone. It's it's easy to do when you got a receiver that that's good, that's that good like Rashawn Woods. Phillips looking for his fourth field goal of the day. This from 23 yards, and it's good. Ugly, but good. Saturday, Capital One Bowl Week continues with games on ESPN and ESPN2 at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on ESPN2. The Virginia Cavaliers meet the West Virginia Mountaineers in the inaugural Continental Tire Bowl at Erickson Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. Then at 8 Eastern on ESPN is the Alamo Bowl presented by MasterCard. The Colorado Buffaloes meet the Wisconsin Badgers at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas. Big East is, uh, well... They're doing all right, aren't doing they? Doing all right. They're representing pretty well so far this uh, bowl week. Boston College and Pittsburgh, and we know Rod Rutherford. Larry Fitzgerald, the no. freshman receiver for Pittsburgh, will be the greatest receiver that's ever come out of there. Matter of fact, if he walked in now and was allowed to go to the pros, he could start on a bunch of NFL teams tomorrow. What a great player and a great kid, and Pitt's got him. Not, nice to have a young yeah. freshman like that. Not taking away or taking anything away from Rashawn Woods. Not at all. He has a chance to win a Heisman Trophy next year, but if Larry Fitzgerald sticks around, I'll tell you what, he might shatter every receiving record in you know, college football. You throw Mike Williams, who's a freshman. We got some pretty good freshman receiver, freshman receiver at Southern Cal. Pretty good. Mark. We, meaning USC, yeah, we, we as alumni. <laughs> See, you're, you're, you're a Sun Devil for four years. You're a Trojan for life. Oh, is that it? <laughs> Eubanks from the three. Oh, hammered. Inside the 15-yard line by Thomas Wright. And Mark, Oklahoma State's kick coverage team has been only given up only 17.2 yards of return, which ranks him at the top of the Big 12. And there you see why. Forced bad field position again for uh, Dustin Allman in this uh, Southern Miss offense. Getting back to that two mark, the Virginia West Virginia game. It, uh, you know, in 2001, West Virginia went from three and eight to nine and three, and Virginia from five and seven to eight and five. So two of the most improved teams will be in that bowl game. Rodriguez done a heck of a job yes, down there for the Mountaineers. Big, big drive now. For Southern Miss is Allman. Gets it out to the wide receiver, but we have a flag on the play. Marvin Young hauled the pass in for about a nine-yard reception. Let's see what the call is. Holding on the offense. Half the distance to go. Repeat first down. Well, it's not what you want no, right now. It is not. You're running uphill as it is. Down 10 with 4.56 remaining in this football game. There's Derek Nix. This team's done an unbelievable job without him today, but you can only wonder if the young man could still play uh, how they do. It's too bad. Allman, Wally. He gets some of that back, about five yards, before Pinson brings him down. We talk about the penalties and its effect on the game. It helped Southern Miss to stay in this football game. 16 combined penalties, most ever in a Houston Bull shot. And the, the, lay, the layoff from from the last game of the season to the bowl game, you go get a little sloppy and a little 
carried away doing the things you're not supposed to. A little undisciplined. Allman. Over the middle. Oh! That is tight end wide open. Bobby Garner. He's still running if that ball's down. About the third or fourth pass now. Critical pass that Allman has overthrown his wide receiver on. Yeah, Mark, and we've talked about how, how gritty and tough Allman's played today coming off the bench, but there's been four throws today that he's had, and that would have been a huge play to the tight end. Down the field, put him in better field position. You can't miss the easy ones. Regardless of how well you played, it comes down to five or six snaps in a football game. you got to capitalize on those. Allman completing just two of his last eight pass attempts. Third and 11. Brings it down, Recox fires it low and misses Johnson low. And inside, Darren Williams on the coverage. And now, they've got to punt it away and hope their defense can come up with a turnover. Yeah, I hope that somebody can knock this punt out of somebody's hands. Got a lot of good candidates for player of the game in this one, don't we, Mark? We certainly do. Rod Davis, the middle linebacker who has just been all over the field. Hallman, the putter, booted a 56 and a 51 yard punt in his last two. He needs another big one here. Good snap. And booms this. A high spiral. Davis from the 39. Smacked down. A 47 yard punt and a four yard return. Anthony Harris was the man to greet him after he caught the punt. Got a flag on the play, too. Kevin Williams has also had a big day, especially in the second half. Obviously, Almond's been good, Mark, as far as Woods and Fields both. Be some interesting ones as we head down the final part of this game to pick the player of the game here. Well, Tatum Bell, yes. longest career run of 88 yards. Holding on the return, 10 yards, spot of the foul, first down. Josh Fields. Breaks the record of yeah. Cliff Kingsbury, you bet. Well, providing assistance to our allies in more than 56 countries, that's the mission of the U.S. European Command. We welcome all of our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines tuned into the Houston Bowl on AFN, the American Forces Network. We say happy birthday to UCOM. Now in its 50th year of service to our nation, happy holidays from all of us here at ESPN. We thank you so much for what you do for us. Now look how cute that mom and dad got a heartbreaker there, don't they, Mark? Yeah. That is and obviously gross. an Oklahoma State fan already. Sweet Southern Bell. Yes. Seymour Shaw tailback. Nowhere to go. Pushes the pile. Wiggles out to about the 34-yard line. How about Rashawn Woods? Is he a candidate for player of the game? How can he not be? <laughs> well, just his presence alone on the field, Mark, dictates a lot of what a defense has to do. You know, he's over 140 or 50 yards receiving today. A bunch of catches, touchdown. There you see it. Nine receptions for a buck 64, 18-2. Which, and remember, these numbers here add up to the regular season numbers. And this is the first year that statistics in a bowl game actually count towards statistics throughout the season. So they continue to roll up for Rashawn Woods. That's his 17th touchdown reception on the year. He came in with 1,531 reception yards. He's had eight games of 100 or more yards. And Shaw bangs it up inside. He had 226 yards and three touchdowns against the Sooners. And he played big against Nebraska. I mean, he's, he's played well against teams that have, where it's mattered. And he comes at Mark. He, those are sick numbers is what they are. They you are. know? It is a sick. There you see it. Fields to Woods, a perfect combination, as is ESPN. But sick numbers by Woods. I mean, when you're talking about almost what's now he's up to almost 17 plus receiving yards this yes. year, Mark. 17 touchdowns. Crazy. Good player, and he's going to be faced with the decision: Do I stay or do I go to the National Football League after this season's over? And he's trying to find out where his draft status is now. Right. Right. To see what he got to declare sometime in January. Filed the papers with the NFL Advisory Board. He's hoping to make a decision by the 15th, as Southern Miss now has called a timeout. Just a reminder: Capital One Bowl Week continues on ESPN with two more games up next: Nebraska at the Old Miss Rebels clash in the mainstay Independence Bowl. Then at 8 Eastern, Mel Roberson leads number six ranked Kansas State against the Arizona State Sun Devils, the 25th annual Pacific Line Holiday Bowl, Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego, California. Hey, Mark, Kansas State in the Holiday Bowl? Yes. Five games, the last five games, 51 to 6 has been the average score, and it's been in their favor. So your boys are going to have to put some pressure on them in that Holiday Bowl because they could score 
They probably kept my Trojans out of a national championship game with that loss in Manhattan earlier this year. Fields under pressure, incomplete, intended for Denard. Don't count my Arizona State Sun Devils out. Never. That they kid Walter can sling the ball yes, now. Yes, and Suggs, 22 sacks, an NC2A record. That's three seasons for some college guys. Man. Terrell Paul put the pressure on Fields, was unable to complete the pass. That'll bring Farden on the field. Other than about three plays in the second half, Mark Southern misses defense has done their job. 41-yard average. This one a little end over end. Marvin Young doesn't field it. Doesn't hurt him too bad. Bounces around and down at about the 22-yard line. 40 yards on the punt for Farden. Now we have 255 remaining. Southern Miss trailing by 10 points, 23 to 33. Need a big play, you need it pretty quickly here. Yes, you do. 255, still time. Now, if it was Oklahoma State that was down by 10, just because of the nature of their explosive offense, Mark, probably a little bit better idea what they do, but uh, Almond's kept a minute, so if they can get a few big plays, they got a shot. Almond has come up with some big plays today. Can't force anything under pressure. This is where the big plays come. Out of the scramble. Goes down at the 25-yard line. Pickup of about three yards on the play before Kareem Smith closes it. You in. can't huddle up here now. You've got to get to a two-minute situation. You've got to push the envelope. There you go. And they're lining up. No huddle. Got to make this thing work quickly for you and be efficient. Seymour Shaw. Good day for him. Plenty of time. Goes outside, almost intercepted by Darren Williams, intended for Young. That'll stop the clock. 2.16 remaining now in the ballgame. You have no choice here now, Mark. You got two downs to get this first down. You have to go for it. Down by 10. Allman can buy time for you, a scrambler and a runner. That can break a defense down. You can get a big play out of that. Third and seven. Can't get outside. No, he does get out of the grasp. Pulls it down again and then throws it. And overthrows Roy Handy. I don't know how he got out of the grasp of Antoine Smith. Now, Mark, and you know what's interesting? When you've got some athleticism, you feet, and you can move around, what you have tendency to do is leave the pocket before you need to. And he could have stepped up. He ran into trouble on the right side, was able to get out and keep the play alive. But sometimes you, you, the, the, your biggest strength becomes your biggest weakness because you rely on them so much. And they are going to punt. I thought they'd go for it here with two minutes to go and down by 10. 2.05 left. Allman. They call him in think that Oklahoma State right now would have a safe on looking for any fake Allman sends it deep to TD Bryant a high high punt taking it to 31 slips a couple of tackles and brought down at the 45 yard line 14 yards on the return Michael Bully the outside linebacker in the defense makes the tackle. So now you got to go all out. You got to take some chances if you're Tyrone Nix in the Southern Miss defense. Yes, you do. And Southern and, and Mark, that's been their MO anyway. They're, they're, they're a team that likes to move around and pressure. But what you have to do now, you got to trust your corners to play man coverage, and you got to go all out, try to force a fumble in the backfield. You got to get after the quarterback. The truth of the matter is, I don't see that Oklahoma State's going to throw the ball here at all these last three downs before they, if they have to punt or get a first down. Bell. And there you go. Gaping hole up the right side. Picks up 12, 13 yards. Enough for a first down before Pruitt, the free safety, hauls him down. Well, we've cast our votes, and there is your Capital One player of the game, Rashawn Woods. Nine receptions, 164 yards, and a touchdown. They're really able to do everything they do on offense based on how defenses handle that man right That's there. exactly right. We saw the result of the, the Bell touchdown because of what he does. The, the game changes for the defense, and that's a unanimous choice right there, Rashawn Woods. Although there's a lot of worthy candidates, he was clearly the dominant player on the field today. Fields also a record-breaking day here at the Houston Bowl, well over 300 yards. 
It's Bell picks his way through the defense, picks up a couple. And the clock continues to tick away. Main State Independence Bowl, Nebraska against Eli Manning and Ole Miss. This Capital One Bowl week continues here on the worldwide leader. Tune in to watch Eli Manning because we don't know if he's going to the NFL or not, Mark, and he's one of the great, great college quarterbacks we have. Taken after brother and father. Very good football player. So, Fields takes a knee. The clock ticks down in the sea of orange. The over 30,000 Cowboy fans who made the trip here to Houston rise to their feet. Made it worth their trip. Very competitive game. I saw some really, a lot of heart on Southern Miss's side. Played well, and they were undermanned a little bit. They did a great job. But uh, Oklahoma State, Mark, as hot as any offense in the league, almost get to their average. They're averaging 34 points a game. They hit 33 with this performance today. And that'll do it. The Oklahoma State University Cowboys, they were tested all the way down the wire. But they win it 33 to 23. Up next, the 2002 Main State Independence Bowl. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Sean Salisbury, Tracy Wilson, and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Mark Malone. The summaries and stats of this game, you can log on to ESPN.com. Your home for college football on the internet. Now, let's join Jeff Hollinger for the Main State Independence Bowl. So long, everybody. It's been a four-year roller coaster ride for Nebraska's senior class. Coming off a turbulent seven and six campaign, it's those seniors' last chance to make the type of statement big red fans expect. And for an embattled coach, it's a launch point for a return to glory. Welcome to ESPN's presentation of Capital One Bowl Week. The celebration. Because he is really playing very well for them early on. And he has been the mainstay, the main force behind their offense. Winders, Terrence Winders from Baltimore, Maryland, doing a tremendous job as a true freshman. <laughs> 49ers up by 12. What's been the difference so far uh, in terms of them extending this lead, Doug? Is there anything in particular they've done differently, or is it just a matter of more talent? Well, defensively, they've extended and played more physically, and especially they defended David Bailey. Haven't allowed, if you take away what somebody does best, now you're making other guys from Loyola score the basketball. They're not used to it. Eddie Baston going to go to the stripe for Charlotte, trying to build on this 12-point lead. He'll shoot a one and one Baston hits the first one. Don't forget tomorrow afternoon, college basketball continuing doubleheader on ESPN. It's Keith Bogans and Kentucky against Rick Pitino's Louisville Cardinals. Then at 2 Eastern, Bobby Dine coaches his first game at a Big Ten institution since leaving Indiana as Texas Tech visits Minnesota. Two good games, huh? Uh, pretty good basketball tomorrow on ESPN. Two good games, four good coaches, all have had NCAA tournament success at varying levels. Hey, Don Munson, don't forget about, he was the original head coach at Gonzaga when they first got him rolling up there in Spokane. And he's really done an incredible job when you consider what he inherited at Minnesota, a mess after the academic scandal, and he really has to play well. We talked about Rick Rickard earlier. That's a big part of the reason why. David Bailey not able to hit. He is struggling. The Ramblers on the floor, and Charlotte will get it on the alternate possession. Charles did a good job of keeping David Bailey out of the paint, making him take jump shots 15 to 18 feet or longer, and they're also putting a hand up every time he shoots. You don't give a guy a good look when he's struggling. Sometimes he can never find his rhythm, rhythm and that's what Charlotte is attempting to do, and doing very well so far in the first half. Thank your partner goes to Loyola on the alternate possession, and they promptly turn it over. Charlotte's really started to extend their defensive man-to-man -man pressure, stop really with the jump looks because I think Bob, Bobby Lutz feels like they're a better team, and I'm a big believer, most coaches are. All the famous bloodline coupled with size and the great arm.
the Shreveport and the Mainstay Independence Bowl. It's Ole Miss taking on Nebraska on a perfect day for football. No wind, plenty of sunshine, clear blue skies. Hello, everyone. I'm Jeff Pullinger along with Todd Christensen and no snow for this Independence Bowl. It's going to be a great day for football. And for a lot of these locals here, they have been following Eli Manning for a long time, back when he was in high school in New Orleans. And now he has a big target in Chris Collins, a deep threat. Well, his numbers don't stand out at you in terms of 49 catches, but what does stand out is 10 touchdowns. That leads the SEC. And when you think of the plethora of great receivers in the SEC, that's quite an accomplishment. Number eight has really established himself as the go-to guy for Eli Manning in this offense. On the other side, the state of Nebraska has a special bond with its university, with its football program, and Stacy Pates is downstairs right now. Stacy? Well, Jeff. Jeff, while well, Ole Miss is making their fifth appearance to the Independence Bowl, this is the first time for Nebraska to be here. Tickets did not sell as well as Nebraska had hoped, but from the looks of things, I think there are more fans here than they anticipated. The motivation for Nebraska is simple. They have to end on a winning note to, to make their winning season, their 41st winning season. They have to win today for that to happen. All right, Stacy. the Independent Stadium recently underwent a $32 million renovation, and it is in great shape for the fans today. And look at this weather today. The wind is inconsequential. The forecast is clear. Humidity is pretty low for this part of the world. The temperature is very nice as New Year's approaches. And we are underway with Ole Miss kicking off, and it skips into the end zone. Josh Davis will let it hit and Nebraska will take over the football here in the Mainstay Independence Bowl. Jamal Lord, he can run and throw. He averages almost six yards per carry with 1,300 plus yards and eight touchdowns. Has a passer over 1,200 yards, 11 touchdowns and 10 interceptions. Get a chance to see Diedrich from the eye back position. Also take a look at Horn number five, the freshman who has 300 yard games this season. Starting lineups are brought to you by Coors Light. So it is first and 10 for the Cornhuskers. Here is the give straight ahead to Darren Diedrich. And Diedrich is up to about the 25-yard line where he is stopped. Pickup of about four or five. The offensive line for Nebraska, not as strong as past years, but the center John Garrison and the right tackle Dan Vili Waldrum are the best up front for Frank Solich. Jesse Mitchell is not your ordinary nose tackle. Very quick with 12 tackles for loss. He will be key to stopping the running game for Nebraska today. Second and five from the 25-yard line. And again, that's enough for a first down. Jamal Lord keeping the football in the tackle by Eric Oliver, the free safety for Ole Miss. It is a pickup of six. The star of the Rebels' defense is the middle linebacker, Eddie Strong. Big and strong and quick because of injuries, played in just nine games, but he does have 53 tackles. Key to the run support of the safeties. Matt Greer has had a terrific season with interceptions and run support. Eric Oliver, the leading tackle this year, 116, the most that they've had in eight years. On first down, Nebraska keeps it on the ground. Across the 35, down at the 36 is Diedrich. It is a pickup of three. We'll call it second and seven for the Huskers. Jamal Lord, Diedrich last year had 1,300 yards, 1,299 to be exact. But Diedrich, I think a little bit frustrated this year because hasn't had a lot of pitches. It seems that number 10 has a penchant for keeping the ball as opposed to pitching on that option. Now second and seven out of the shotgun formation with three receivers for Nebraska. Here's the handoff to Diedrich. Diedrich with room and into Ole Miss territory to the 48-yard line. It's a gain of 17. Tackle by Travis Johnson, the right quarterback. We talked about Deidre with Thunder Collins leaving. The idea was that number 30 was going to get that many more touches. It really hasn't, it really has not panned out as you might guess. They combined for a little over 1,400 yards in Deidre and Horn. But Horn is the guy that they're looking at, the youngster, the 190-pounder. And it's Judd Davies, the fullback, as he pounds ahead for about five yards for Nebraska so nothing fancy here on their opening possession here at the mainstay Independence Bowl keeping it on the ground and really pushing it at Ole Miss right now they must have been listening to Trev Alberts saying that early on they had to establish the line of scrimmage and that 
of course, means Thomas Incognito, Erickson, Garrison, Takawai, and Billy Waltrip. Here is the pitch and the fake reverse up to the 45-yard line. That's going to be a loss of one. Nothing there for Darren Diedrich. And you take a look at Diedrich. He is in the top 10 all-time rushers for Nebraska. Came into the game with 2,653 yards. A look at Frank Solich. Interesting when you look at that career mark to think that he may be in trouble, and that's what the scuttlebutt is in Nebraska. I find that strange with an impressive record. <laughs> the expectation there is more than just winning. And here is Jamal Ward run out of bounds along the Nebraska sideline. A pickup of four. The stop by Travis Johnson, his second tackle, the right cornerback from Shannon, Mississippi. Because of the fact that this is a bowl game with six losses, I wouldn't be surprised to see him go for it. But now I see the punt team come on the field. I, I figured a fourth and three around that situation. They might want to give it a shot. But definitely not. So it'll be fourth and two for the Cornhuskers. Tied for fourth on the all-time bowl appearance with 41. Last year matched up with Miami in the Rose Bowl for the national title game. Kyle Larson is the punter and gets it away. A high floating 